Mr. Vitale, the pressure is on both teams in this third round tournament game between the Memphis Tigers and the Duke Blue Devils. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Blue Devils might be looking at the fight of the season tonight, Dick. Any particular keys to victory for them? For them to win tonight, the keys are as follows. Number one, work the ball to the interior to your post players. Let them be your option number one offensively. Second, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. And lastly, don't let your man beat you to the rebound. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. Look at that! That's unbelievable, baby! Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The small forward with the ball. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Both teams looking to get things going here. Inside. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Fed the low block. The fake kicks it out. The point guard takes the feed. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Side. With anticipation defensively, I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nesla. How much fun would that be? This defender is resilient, still applying pressure. Goes up for two. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. They're working around the perimeter. Ivy is fired up right now emotionally. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. He'll regroup the offense. The shooting guard takes the pass. Off the rim and no good. Scorches the net. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Up and inside. Let's it fly. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. He dials long distance, makes the shot. He keeps the dribble as they reset. In the paint, for two, he hits it. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Trying to pack it inside. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. Another turnover. I'm not talking apple turnovers either. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Now 
That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Great play to take that to the basket. The power forward gets the ball. Controlling the ball. Stolen ball. Here they come now on a turnover. Tries for two. Gave it up. Definitely a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA, Aaron Andrews, checking in from the sideline. He goes to the line for the first time. Misses the first. Nothing but nylon, NBN. He's got an open look for the shot. High post flashes for the opportunity. From right at the circle, way off target. Second chance coming up. He takes the three. Off the rim and no good. Buried it. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Meeks. He gets the bucket to drop and gets the foul. He felt the pressure on the way up, but managed to keep himself focused on the rim. He'll get one shot. Hits that one. Oh, my. He ran into a major league screen that time. Full house. And a packed crowd, and they are into it tonight. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. The small forward gets the pass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Pushing that basketball, help one another communicate. Now the high screen. The Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. In the paint. And he'll kick it back outside. Dump it inside. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy in the sideline. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. He throws it up from downtown. He gets it to fall. And the ball goes out of play. Double team now, bad angle. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Memphis are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. Can't remember, solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Goes up for two. Easy one. Frustration right there. He shoots from right of the circle. You betcha. 
Long down court pass. Robs him with the ball. Fast break possibility coming. Looking for the foul. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for contact. Doesn't go. Intercepted. They're working around the arc. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. He launches the bomb. He can't miss. Then he should match field the Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And he scores it off the glass. On the inside. Pushing that basketball. He gets the rejection. Gave it up. And there's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket. Taking advantage of a slow post play. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Duke have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> In the paint. There he is, strips the ball loose. Three. The Blue Devils have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. away to pass cross court turns it over gave it up tries to turn the defense comes up with a play what a terrific play to stop that spin move stolen away now they work it around the perimeter top of the circle they work it around the perimeter He's got a nice shot fake. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. In the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. Got the high pick. Duke are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. away. Great shot. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the win. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. 
it's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Fake. And now with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up, tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For two. Perfectly executed. They work the perimeter. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. They're working around the perimeter. Tries for two. The land. We need an instant replay for this one. Gave it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the dribble, gives it up. High post flashes for the ball handler. He bombs from outside. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him and I'd see what happens. He tries the three. He hits the shot. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Got it from the free throw line. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBA. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Way off target. Working it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Here's a flash from the high post. He intercepts it. Brad, this crowd will be in a frenzy if they can get a basket on this possession. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. They 
work it around the arc. He tries a three ball. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. And a momentary look from three-point land. Here's a double team. With a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. And he scores despite the hat. From three-point range. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Nice fake. He pump fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Oh, what a high rise. A great vision. The fans love it. What a terrific play. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see more man. He makes the block. Side from the top of the circle, Frierson for three. They work the perimeter, jumped in front to take it away. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. out of play. High post player flashing. Looking for a good shot. He blocks the shot. Here we go on the break. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. Off the rim and no good. At halftime, the Blue Devils are up by 12. Well, let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Frierson has made an example of the opposing team in that first half, Dick. I'll tell you, yeah, Brad, and the lesson is very simple. Play some D, baby! Check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. 
Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. The ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Working it around the perimeter. Intercepted. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Now they work it around the perimeter. He fires away. Tickles a twine. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play. You got a chance really to win. Robs him of the ball. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. On the inside. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. The ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. The center receives the ball, and with a power move on the inside. Did a great job protecting the basketball, seals the defense off, and explodes to the basket. In the paint, there's a double team waiting there. He shoots from the baseline. Nice shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. They work it around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. Off the rim and no good. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. The small forward handles the pass. Oh, yes! Can their defense get them back in the game, Dick? I tell you, it's going to be a long hike back, Brad. The center receives the pass. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Almost lost the basketball. For the deuce. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He shoots from left of the circle. Rims out. Basin. He puts up the tray. He makes the shot. The Tigers are down by 16. They work the perimeter. 
good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure on the basketball. Gets it back out on the outside. He shoots from outside. Knocks it down. Are you kidding me? Show me how he did that. Looking for a good shot. Goes up for two. Off the rim and no good. Steal. And the ball goes out of bounds. Check it out, Mr. Vitell. This young man fired up. Look, he wants the crowd to show some love. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. He shoots from the top of the key. There was no doubt about that one. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. when there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact right on the defensive player. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. And the ball goes out of play. front court on the dribble gives it up and has it rejected defense did a great job with the block shot rims out fakes a jumper double team now bad angle Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Two shots. First one is no good. Hits the second. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. 
Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores it off the glass. soft defensively no pressure on a basketball and with that there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively he shoots from downtown picks off the lazy pass tries for two perfectly executed Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. He unloads a three. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Up and inside. Got some room. whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. The Blue Devils have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Picks off the pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. seen him change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. The defender's doing a great job of applying ball pressure. From the top of the key, goes. If you watch it again, it's even better. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. On a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. On the outside. Steals the pass. Tries for two. And in and out. the perimeter the ball goes out play well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us Aaron Brad and Dick what a turn of events down here on the sidelines the coaches and the players they are feeling the heat the message from the bench defensive stops and do it now How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, but an inside presence will separate your team from others. 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to draw the foul. The lane. Replay, please. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, and absolutely makes you lose here. You get blown by Goya. Good fake. Great pressure. Great double team. Really explosive. Got it. That's a 7-0 run. He does the sweet fake shot. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I'll tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Moving it around the perimeter. Coming. Handles the feed. Memphis are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Up and inside. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And back they come the other way. For the bucket, easy one. The Tigers are trailing by 22. And one too many dribbles and a steal. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Makes it. Roll it back, fellas. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Nice high post screen. Perfectly executed. Let's slow it down on the replay. And now they'll bring it up. The ball. They get out on the break. It's not uncommon to have a few high rises on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. From three point territory, the Blue Devils have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Fakes it. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish a good tempo. Look at speed, I tell you, man. There's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. He gets the rejection. Sinks the shot. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. With a thundering swat. Gave it up. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Dip. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball.
He shoots from outside. Off the rim and no good. Buries it. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. Get ready, Miss Manesla. He shoots from the angle. He shows the sweet touch. And the ball goes out of bounds. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? They're definitely having some fun out there. Post flashes. And they get the turnover. Now on the run the other way. Got it. On the outside. He missed. For two. It's good. Well, that's basic. He wants a three. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. away the pass they work the perimeter goes back from whence it came. Takes away the pass. Goes up for two. He gets it to go. Gave it up. He intercepts it. And the ball goes out of play. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. It. Shot clock is dead. For the deuce. Up. Easy one. <laughs> Number 42 with the fake. Tries to get the D to bite. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Nick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well. And, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. Duke just wanted it a little bit more in this game, and because of that, they're going to live to play another day, Dick. Hey, they're on their way to the Elite Eight, Mr. Nestle, where they'll be joined by the seven best teams in the nation. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler. Good night, everybody.